folks, what's up? This is Michael. Good morning on the graveyard shift. Your wee hours of the night with your daily trivia question. Once again, happy hump day. Let's get over that hump. Climb over that hump. Crawl over that hump. Do whatever we have to do to get over that hump as fast as we can and get on with the rest of this week. <sighs> okay, so the answer to the previous trivia question was Republican majority control of Congress. How's that for an answer? This was back in 1995 with the 104th Congress, who became the first held entirely under Republican control since the Eisenhower era of the 1950s. Now, remember, this was the era of House Speaker Newt Gingrich and the Republican-based so-called contract with America. This was uh, a big, huge deal at the time. Republican candidates rallied behind this single national program and message fronted by the Georgia congressman. The whole movement came to be known as the Republican Revolution. I remember the November uh, primaries at this point in time. And it was like a Republican landslide. It was also known as the Gingrich Revolution when January of 95 rolled around. This was a partisan rebuttal and alternative to Bill Clinton's policy as president. Plain and simple with Gingrich as Speaker of the House and Bob Dole, who was nominated as the majority leader. Those two would team up against Clinton and just brutal partisan politics, folks, at the time. Republicans ambitiously and unapologetically pursued their agenda, which included shrinking the size of government, promoting lower taxes and greater entrepreneurial activity. But they were often forced to compromise with Democratic President Bill Clinton, of course, who wielded veto powder. He also had the line item veto, which is a really cool little tool and quite possibly the focus of another trivia question because the line item veto, which he did use against Dole and Gingrich and some of their policies in the contract for America, is no longer around. A little geek factoid there. I'm always looking out for geek factoids. Whoop, whoop. Anyways, the Republican control of Congress in 95 was seen and described in many ways. It was described as a brilliant political ploy. Uh, an example of the country's deep yearning for reform in Washington, which uh, most uh, all of these kind of si uh, these these uh, uh, ideologies and mindsets cycle through Washington. It was described as an epic slaughter of Congress. <laughs> I saw that in my research, and a changing American politics for the foreseeable future. Uh, it was unique for sure. I remember this time, and uh, I don't think there's anything been. Uh, uh, for that, for the 1990s at least, there was nothing comparable to that. Um, it also, this Republican Revolution, it has been documented and historically kind of interpreted as contributing to Bill Clinton's landslide victory over Dole. Remember, Dole went, went on to drop out of the Senate completely and focus on his presidential election, which he lost horribly to Bill Clinton. Bob Dole ran unsuccessfully, like I was just mentioning, for president. Uh, he died as recently as December of last year. He just died uh, very recently. Clinton won a second term in a landslide and is still very much around today with his wife, Hillary, um, who is thinking about running in uh, 2024, by the way, I just heard. Gingrich resigned from his position as speaker, brought on by fellow Republicans, pressure they thought that his whole uh, persona was an embarrassment to the Republican Party and the GOP, and they basically kind of forced him out. Poor guy, poor Newt, forced him out of a uh, out of his position. He resigned. He has, has since made a few bids for presidency, and he writes books occasionally. I heard him on one of the talk radios the other day, and he's still pushing this contract with America. Believe it or not, in 2022, still still writing books. His his latest book, I think, is called Beyond Biden, which of course is a a critical analysis of, of our current president. Poor Newt. <laughs> he, he tries. He tries real hard. All right, folks, that brings us to today's trivia question for hump day as we get over that hump and look towards the end of the week for January 5th on this day in 1949 in his State of the Union address, President Harry S. Truman announces his ambitious set of proposals for domestic policy reforms by declaring that every American has a right to expect this from the government. 
That's the only clue I'm going to give you, and I think that's fair enough. Have a happy hump day. Peace out.